Hey guys, today I'm just gonna be showing you a little sketchbook tour. Um, it's quite a thing sketchbook, so it's not that many pages to go. So let's get started. Right, so I'm gonna start off with a little disclaimer. I am not very good at keeping up with sketchbooks. I usually forget that I'm using a sketchbook and then I get a new one, just like really thin and cheap. And then I just have lots of sketchbooks that I've started but never finished. Which is why I started this sketchbook and I drew on the front so I would not forget that this is a sketchbook I'm on right now. Um, it's just a little drawing of a wall rabbit and a little squirrel having lunch. <laughs> I know, very adult. Um, Anyways, let's just get started. So first we have some life drawings. I made these uh, when I was taking a little break from an art fair that me and my class, some university classmates went to, uh, obviously alongside my university. Um, yeah, just some people chilling, having lunch, cute dog. Um, I really enjoy doing life drawing but I find myself not doing it as much as I should um, but definitely think it's something everyone that draws should do just go sit somewhere semi-comfortable and just draw the people around you it's really good for um, learning form and all that sorry I'm just centering my sketchbook yep so lots of that and once we were taking a break we also went to this little walk in this kind of foresty area and we saw this little robin and it was almost like it was posing for us it was so cute um and also that derpy duck um yeah just more life drawing and this one <laughs> it gets a little different so this is just a drawing of a bear looking at a bird i know <laughs> this bird has an i just very awful at remembering bird names. Um, this is, I just drew this because I got new coloring pencils and I wanted to try them. And I like it, I think it's pretty cute. And just some thumbnails for um, a challenge, monthly challenge that I was going to do. And then some more drawing practice. Um, I told my boyfriend to just draw random shapes with markers so I could just guess what it was um, as you can see this one is just like you know I don't even know what I wanted to do on that but it's there and just yeah I think it's also another way to practice if you feel a bit uninspired you don't know what to do just make some random blobs and see what you find in them more thumbnails and little train sketches that I did. I wanted to try this little dotting technique that lots of people use and when you're sitting on a train that's very shaky. It's kind of hard to draw so I think doing those tiny dots was much easier than drawing anything else. I'm, I'm quite pleased with these drawings. They were very fun. And that is very unfortunate. I don't know how that happened. But this is one of my favorite recent drawings. Um, where I used to live, there was this little orange cat and she was the sweetest cat. She would always want some um, cuddles and love. And I drew her and people really love this drawing. Um, I, I mean, who doesn't love cats? Cute and fluffy. Anyways, moving on. Um, I went on a trip with my mom and you know we went to lots of shops, drew lots of clothes and um, I drew some of the clothes that I didn't quite like because um, I thought they were cool just you know not in me <laughs> or on me sorry um, more life drawings and some penguins so we went to the london aquarium which was so much fun and my favorite part undoubtedly was the penguins and i love that little waddle that they do when they walk it's so 
cute and so funny and I love how chunky they are. Here are some of the fishes I saw in the aquarium as well. Um, they were all very beautiful. I fell in love with the jellyfish. However, I did not draw them because I don't feel I could do them justice. And here we have, uh, this was really fun. This was a sort of draw this in your staff challenge that me and my boyfriend did between ourselves. Um, so I drew a little fox with his little companion. He drew this cool wolf with like a skull on top of his face. Um, so I drew his drawing in my style in his sketchbook and he drew this online. Um, here's his Instagram if you want to check him out. Um, some Pokemon drawing. I don't know how many of you are into Pokemon, but I love it. Some wiggly tops doing some daily chores and it's a little wiggly top family. Um, you know, sometimes you're just feeling something cute and adorable to warm your heart. To me, that is cute Pokemon. Some random drawings. <laughs> um, this is uh, my boyfriend playing games and me drawing him without him knowing. And just some hamsters, some ice cream, some Undertale, <laughs> and that weird but funny picture of um, Pikachu that I thought was hilarious and reflected my feelings at the time. Here's another, just a little painting of my boyfriend. Um, a little tree. Oh, that's a shame. So I started painting in a park and I started with a tree. And then I never did anything else, which is why when you paint, you start with everything. Don't just choose one part, do everything and build it up. Anyways, I still love that tree. And then some Spider-Man drawings from the PS4 Spider-Man game. Just him jumping about being Spider-Man. Some cats. I was trying to find cats on Google that looked like the cat I had when I was a little girl. And I found this one and she looks just like her. Um, yes, I much prefer this one than this one. The face looks kind of wonky, but it was very fun painting them. And here we have some weird little cat faces. I thought it was really fun to play around with characterizing real life into something more cartoony. Oh, and Zelda. Is anyone excited for the new Breath of the Wild sequel announcement because I was living for it. So happy I could die and I love so long with short hair. Moving on here we have some swatches. I was just um, trying out all of my markers to see which one I should get rid of and these are the ones that worked. Um, and just blunt, random design drawing, more of that cap and yeah that's about it really. Short, sweet, and simple. Um, I'm sorry if this was kind of awkward. This is the first time I've narrated anything and I'm not the most eloquent of people. Um, English is not my first language. So when I'm doing something that is kind of nerve wracking, um, I tend to screw up my grammar and pronunciations. But I hope you enjoy it regardless. I'm hoping to be posting a lot more often and I hope to see you soon. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, and all that jazz. Check out my Instagram and see you guys.